Hey, it's Denise from Lumihead.com and this time I'm going to show you how to knit the diamond moss stitch. I have to admit that for me, they look like little trees, right? The diamond actually looks like the treetop. It's a very nice stitch. I find it very elegant. However, it is not 100% reversible. Although to me, I think it looks well enough that it can easily be used for a scarf or even a blanket pattern. You do need to keep in mind that it does curl on the edges. This is easily resolved with some steam or wet block and I'll put some links in the description or you can always add a border. But once you steam block, you can see that those edges will easily clear up. Another thing to keep in mind, this is a stitch pattern only, so there is no cast on or cast off. Now, if you're ready, I'm ready, I say, Let's begin with row one. We're going to purl four, knit one, purl four, knit one. My project has one knit stitch on the edge and then I do those 10 stitches that make up the pattern right here. Personally for my project, I'm going to repeat those 10 stitches two more times. So here's my second repeat and then I'm going to do another one which is the third repeat and then one edge right here that's not part of the pattern so you're going to repeat those 10 stitches as many times as is necessary for your particular project again I'm gonna start with one knit stitch on the end right here not part of the pattern Let's start with those four pearls. So first put the working yarn under the existing loop and your hook from the top. You're gonna then scoop up the working yarn to create a new loop. And then you're gonna take the old loop off the peg, put the new loop on and pull your working yarn. All right, that was pearl number one. Here is pearl number two. Again, I scoop up and create a new loop. Take the old loop off the peg and put the new one on. That was pearl two. Here is pearl number three and then pearl number four. All right, that's how I started my pattern with four pearl stitches. And now I'm gonna do my flat version of the knit stitch. So I put the working yarn over the existing loop and with my uh, hook I knit off and that is knit one which is going to be followed by four more purl stitches. That was my first. Here's purl number two. Purl three. You guys know how to do a purl now, right? Super easy. Here's my purl number four, and then I end those 10 stitches with a knit stitch. All right, that is the 10 stitch pattern for row number one. Remember, I'm going to repeat mine three times. So here we go again, I'm restarting, and now I'm gonna do those four purl stitches again, followed by one knit stitch, four purl stitches, because I'm repeating that 10 stitch pattern again because I want my project to be wider, right? So, and those 10 with a knit stitch. Now we're ready for row two, which is simply a knit one and purl nine. As always, I'm gonna start row two with my edge, which is a U-wrap knit stitch. Remember that that stitch is not part of the pattern and yes i did a u wrap because going from left to right it's just easier for me to do the u as opposed to the flat half wrap knit off and that is your knit stitch don't use the e but you can use the u wrap or the flat and then your nine purl stitches again you put the yarn under the existing loop, scoop up to create a new one, hold off, new one on, and pull your um, working yarn. You need to pull that yarn and tighten the stitch to make it look right, okay? Once you're done with those uh, nine purl stitches, you're gonna repeat those 10, one knit, and nine purls as many times as necessary for your project. Now it's time for row three, where you're going to purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl three, knit one. 
after knitting the edge we're going to go ahead and do those three purl stitches and now remember that i'm knitting from right to left and i prefer to use the flat version of the knit stitch so there's my one knit stitch then a purl then another knit stitch followed by three purls one two three and we're going to end this stitch pattern with one knit stitch now repeat it as many times as necessary for your project now we're on to row four super easy you're just going to knit one and then purl nine so you know that after your edge you're going to do that knit stitch and you're going to follow those by nine purls now as you guys are knitting i'm going to do something a little different in this video and is that since you happen to like stitch patterns i want to introduce you to other stitch patterns along the way so let's start with this one quick commercial break where i introduce you to the garter stitch rectangle one of my favorites and i'll put a link in the description all right let's go on to row five for row five you're going to purl two knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one purl two knit one so let's jump into those two purl stitches of course right after your edge so there's my first purl here's my second i'm going to then follow that with a knit stitch another purl stitch another knit stitch followed by the purl stitch and uh, in this direction of course i'm doing the flat stitch so there's my other knit stitch then two purl stitches and this one you end with a knit stitch once you're done with that stitch you're now ready for row six which looks very familiar and it's very easy it's a knit one purl nine so of course after the edge you start that pattern knit one purl nine and as you knit i just want to give you guys another heads up and that is that you need to keep in mind this pattern is a flat version of the pattern so it works for your scarves and your blanket but not for something like say a hat this pattern does not translate for in the round for that you need the written pattern and i'll put a link in the description for row seven you're going to do a purl one knit one and here's where it's a little different you're just going to repeat that purl one knit one four more times which means you're going to do those two stitches five times in total what does that look like after your edge you go ahead and do that purl which is going to be followed by a knit stitch so that's your first set you're going to do those two stitches four more times so then after that first set you go back and you do another purl knit that's your second another purl and then a knit that's your third another purl and knit that's your fourth set and you're going to end with a purl and a knit and then you're just going to repeat that which is like a rib stitch as many times as necessary for your project row eight looks super familiar it is a knit one purl nine which you've done many times before so after that initial uh, edge then you go right into your knit one purl nine and as you guys knit i just want to give you another heads up don't use the e-wrap because as you can see in the picture the e-wrap is a bigger looser stitch and will change the look of this pattern completely so you could use any of the other three versions but not the e-wrap now moving on to row number nine we're going to do a purl two knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one purl two knit one right, so let's start with those two purl stitches of course after the edge here's my purl one here's my second one i'm then going to follow that with a knit stitch and then a purl stitch and let's do that again knit one and then follow that with a purl one and then another knit stitch two purl stitches one two and end that with a knit one 
Row 10 is familiar territory. You're going to knit one purl nine. So after your edge, you go ahead with that one knit stitch. I'm using a U and then you can do your nine purl stitches. Remember that when I'm going from left to right, I prefer to use the U version, but that you can use the flat or even the true knit stitch. I'm not a big fan, but in some cases it works best. And as always, I will put a link in the description to the video to teach you all four versions and as you continue knitting here's another interruption so i can introduce you to another fabulous stitch this one is the quilt block diamond stitch pattern another diamond pattern that is just awesome all right link will be in the description and we move on to row 11 where you'll purl three knit one purl one knit one purl three and knit one so let's start with those three purl stitches which you guys are super familiar with so here's purl number two here's three that's going to be followed by a knit stitch i'm doing the flat another purl stitch a knit stitch three more pearls one two and here's my third one and we're going to end that row row 11 with one knit stitch we're then ready for row 12 which is one knit stitch four pearls one knit four pearls so again after your edge you do that knit stitch and you're going to follow that with four pearls there's my one two three and four and remember to pull on your draw on your uh, working yarn okay another knit stitch and then four more purl stitches so three and four and you're going to repeat those 10 stitches as many times as is necessary for your project for row 13 you're going to do purl four knit one purl four knit one so after your um, edge you're going to start with those four purl stitches now i want to give you fair warning that from this row on i'm only going to give you the card with the instructions right what is the actual pattern because I am 100% sure you guys know how to do your knit stitch and your purl stitch and you don't need me to show you that anymore. What you need is the pattern. So let's finish row 13 and from here on I'm just giving you the card with the pattern. You ready? Let's do this starting with row 14 which is a knit one purl four knit one purl four and now for row 15 it's a knit one purl three, knit one, purl three, knit one, purl one. And for row 16, you're gonna be knitting a purl five, knit one, purl four. And now I wanna stop right here and say, you know what, Luma, you are awesome. You've stayed with me all this time. Hang in there, let's keep going. We're on row 17 and we're gonna purl one, knit one, purl two, knit one, purl two, knit one, purl one, knit one. For row 18, we're gonna purl five, knit one, and then purl four. And for row 19, you're gonna do a knit one, purl one, and then repeat it four more times. That's a total of five times. What does that look like? I'm gonna write it out for you, okay, this time. You're knitting knit one, purl one, five times in total. And I wanna take this time and introduce you to the linen stitch. This was eons ago, like a million years, and you will find the video for it. I'll give you a link in the description. Now on to row 20, which is a purl five, knit one, purl four, and then row 21, which is a purl one, knit one, purl two, knit one, purl two, knit one, purl one, knit one, and row 22 is a purl five, knit one, purl four, and let's do row 23, which is knit one, purl three, knit one, purl three, knit one, purl one, and now I wanna introduce you to another stitch. This is the little pyramid stitch, which is super cute, and 
it has a video not just for the stitch but for this cool cowl that i totally totally love all right lastly row 24 yes this is the last row it is a pearl 5 knit 1 pearl Wow, this was a long one and you stuck with me, Luma. We need to do a party. You have to show me what you make with this awesome stitch. All right, till next time, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Comment in the comment section, tag me, everything. All right, guys, love you lots. Many, many hugs.